Okay, I'll label this what I, uh, uh, abortion debate part three, is it? Part four, maybe? I can't remember. But I made another one earlier today. Uh, because, uh, human rights for everybody commented on my videos but didn't send me a personal message. So I figured that I would send them a video, but then they sent me a personal message. So I guess I'll send them two comment backs. So that's fine. So anyway... He writes, their reports look up the law and biogenesis, buy an embryology book from Amazon, watch those National Geographic videos, read about the discovery of DNA, use common sense. Okay, I already commented that. But then he wrote, it is, it is growing and requires nutrition so it's alive. Oh, oh yeah, he wrote that too. Okay, so here's something new where he goes. Abortion proponents today recognize that human life begins at conception. What they argue is that it's okay to kill them because at present they aren't beneficial to uh, society and that gen and that generally the poor sick and genetically inferior babies will be killed so the it's a social benefit I disagree with this as all their arguments could just as well apply to newborns I find it frightening that such violent eugenism propaganda it considered mainstream again furthermore or furthermore are you a native English speaker? You should do some spell check. A quick look at history will show you a society always rejects labeling human beings as non-persons. Okie dokie. So let's see here. So good, you gave me some reasons why people say it's okay to kill it. Because they uh, aren't beneficial to society. Um, okay, you're, you're saying that people should abort, it's okay to abort babies that are going to end up being poor, sick, and genetically inferior. Um, I agree that it's more beneficial to kill a poor, sick, and genetically inferior, well, genetically inferior. Um, <clears throat> there is such thing as genetically inferior babies. Okay, let's, let's get this straight right now. Uh, I lived in the ghetto for five years in Chile, and there was this retarded guy who was in my neighborhood and he couldn't talk and he didn't wipe his butt he, you could smell him, he was retarded, he couldn't talk and he had a brother who was retarded also and their mother was retarded so I mean some people will probably have retarded babies if they're retarded. I don't, I'm not a geneticist. I don't know how that works. I just have one personal example of that. But uh, for the most part, that's a moot argument because we're talking about freedom of girls to, to abort their babies. And, um, and um, all races are the same. There's no, there's no race that's genetically inferior to another race. Uh, there's just because you're poor doesn't mean you're genetically inferior. Um, if you can look, if you can tell that a baby's going to be poor, or sick, or genetically inferior because of like a, because you can tell it's going to be born with like Down syndrome, it would be definitely it's common sense to know that it's going to be less useful to society than a normal human being. Um, and if a girl wants to, like I guess if a girl finds out it's going to be like that. Um, before it's born, and it's still within the, uh, the time limit of being able to do an abortion, which I don't really, I don't even know what that is because I'm not educated abortion proponent. But uh, yeah, it would definitely make sense to kill that more than a normal baby. Um, and I would understand if a girl wanted to do that. But again, we're talking about the decision of that girl. Okay, so then you disagree with this because. Um, it could just as well apply to newborns. Well, no, we've already talked about that. There's a difference between killing somebody who's already born and, and killing a fetus. Uh, if you want to give me the reason why it could just as well apply to a newborn, I'd love to hear that. But don't just don't just tell me. Give me the reason. Okay, I find it frightening that such violent eugenism propaganda is considered mainstream again. Um, don't worry. Um... Uh, we're not going to start throwing Jews in the gulag again. We're not going to become racist again. 
don't get so uptight. This world's going to become a very beautiful, peaceful place that loves everybody. All the races are going to unite. We're talking about freedom, a freedom of women to do with their bodies what they want. That's all we're talking about. We're not talking about the new Nazis and the new, the new uh, fascists or anything like that. So, you know, don't be so frightened. Um, okay, furthermore, a quick look at history will show you a society always regrets labeling human beings as non-persons. I agree. What we're doing is, is deciding whether a fetus is a human being or not. Okay, so here we go. Here are some of those educated pro infanticiders I was talking about. Faye Walton, the longest reigning president of the largest abortion provider in the world, Planned Parenthood, argued as far back as 97 that everyone already knows that abortion kills. She proclaimed the following in an interview with Mrs. Magazine. I think we have deluded ourselves into believing that people don't know that abortion is killing. So any pretense that abortion is not killing is a signal of our ambivalence, a signal that we cannot say yes, it kills a human being. Okay, yeah, abortion is killing, but you're not killing a human being. Ha <laughs> killing a fetus. Um, if she says it's killing a human being, well, I guess I can have that argue with her, but I'm not, I'm having it with you. So let's get on to the next one. Do I still have time? <gasps> Oh my god.